morning everyone just starting the trip to the Simpson Desert Daryl Beattie Adventures again heading off to to the Madigan line which is the harder way to cross the Simpson Desert so very excited very early in the morning here in Darwin catching the 6 a.m. flight down to Alice Springs and then off to Uramina station and then we start riding tomorrow so very excited so watch out for the video So here we are, Uramina Station. Does his truck, camp, <clears throat> millions of flies. It's just me and Ashley here at the moment. Had um, Bud to put some steak pegs on, so I'm just going to take it for a quick ride. So, just got. Bud has just put the steak pegs on. Just give me the boo boo. Here we go. Station. Apparently this was all part of a movie set. Obviously not the plastic chairs and heaters, but the buildings behind. Let's go and have a look inside. So this is obviously the pub where it's all happening. Pretty cool. Piano in the corner. Oh, general store's locked. Day one, seven o'clock in the morning. Urimina station. Freezing cold. The truck's going to go on ahead. We're just going to go up for breakfast. There's Buddha, our lead rider. Breakfast at Urimini. The sun's come up. Scruffy is following me thinking he's going to get some food, but he isn't. So, yeah, we're pretty much ready to go. It's already uh, warming up. I might, be, I might be too hot. But uh, the food last night and this morning here at Urimini was absolutely fantastic. The, the showers are interesting. It's number three shower in the shower block we were in that was the only one that worked. The other shower block was cold water, but Hey, it's an outback experience, so it doesn't really matter. Any of those things don't uh, don't really matter. So, yeah, hopefully a good day, right? All right, we're off. We're getting out the back of Urimena. Apparently, there's lots of washouts and stuff here. And then um, we eventually get onto a bit of a super highway. So I think today's a bit more of a transition day. So it will be very interesting to see how we go. Beautiful morning. It's a bit odd turning the GoPro on and off in the soft sand, I've got to tell you. Especially with two pairs of gloves on. And there's an example of the washouts just right there. Just got to be careful then. On the last tour, a guy made it to within 100 metres of the finish line, came off and dislocated his shoulder.
into the station track so we're now on this main road I think we've got nearly 400 kilometers to do today but I think quite a bit of it is is um, either super highway or pretty good four-wheel drive tracks it's not going to be sandy tracks so um, boys are just uh, pulling off now there's Ashley apparently he's buying the beers in uh, Birdsville he rode across uh, to the fit on the Fink trip and then he's riding back on the Madigan line trip so that's pretty good all right here we go just have to keep plenty plenty of, of room in between us you can possibly see the dust up ahead we've already seen cattle on the road and apparently there's quite a few rocks on this track so if you don't keep a decent distance you've got a good chance of hitting it we made the right decision to rug up I was a bit hot after we got out of the Urimina station because you had to work pretty hard in the sand but now we're on this road my two pairs of gloves and all my layers I've got a scruff and a, a helmet liner and I'm just staying warm off my index fingers are cold and my feet are pretty chilly but yeah I'm, overall I'm pretty good first little stop 47 k's Santa Teresa exactly 200 kilometers done for the day so far uh, we're going to fuel up and have a stop here it's a good ride so far On transition day you can really enjoy the scenery some stunning views with the light as the sun comes up First camel. We didn't see one last trip. Yeah, first camel. That's pretty cool. A big bull. Yeah. We'll fucking run down that road for another half an hour if we don't chop him off. It's a big, big bull apparently, as in a bull camel, and he's gone now into the distance over there, which he's got. Road so far. 90 to 100 k's an hour, twisty turny, some great scenery, bit of sand. I've been fortunate enough to be second rider at the moment, so behind butter, so I haven't got much dust. Not exactly easy trying to keep up with him. And I'm sure he's only going at 50 percent.
hard on the forearms. Should have done some work in the off season to build them up. I remember that from the Cape York trip. Have a look at that in the distance. Until Daryl gets through, so he knows the gate was open. Yeah. He knows the gate was shut. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? so sure no worries at all. Yeah. Oh. Too easy. Okay. Wow. How good is this? Getting a bit of arm pump. Which is only going to get worse for tomorrow. But uh, that was a great track. And obviously we were a little bit, um, a little bit ahead. of bulldust and the problem with bulldust it's it's like going through a river crossing you don't know what's underneath it because it's literally like talcum powder it could be a square edge it could be a, a rut so you've got to try and avoid it and you can normally tell when the guy in front goes through bulldust because it puts up a plume of dust like an atomic bomb and then you know you've got to really be careful getting getting around it and I just overtook one of the other guys he was just a little bit too slow going through it feet were out so it's always good if you can find your position in the packing order and stick with that we're going to be fueling up in about 20 k's Exactly 200 kilometers done for the day so far 
Uh, we're going to fuel up and we'll stop here. It's a good ride so far. Going to do about another 50 k's and stop for lunch, I think. Just got to keep giving ourselves plenty of room. The bike is right, but it says um, 10 to 12. And um, so I've just stripped off all those extra layers. I'm down to my normal riding gear, normal riding gloves. I've still got a scruff around my neck. And it feels cool, but not cold. Sand dune. Getting closer. Heading into the Simpson Desert. So this is the start of the Madigan Line crossing of the Simpson Desert. So we're going in here for about an hour. Don't know whether we're going to stop at all the camps that Madigan made, but um, the first bit is a bit washed out, a bit rocky. There's still been water about on the way in. And, um, and then we're going to have lunch. It's about midday, I believe now. So um, cruise up here and have some lunch. A lot more sand. Still very early in. We're already starting to get some sand. Already got arm pump. <laughs> my back's aching. Because I always like to say, no adventure without adversity. I'm just sitting relatively low down the back, just so that I can put along. I'm not sure who's in front of me, but it's a marathon, not a sprint. There's little June. There are 1,100 parallel dunes in the Simpson Desert. I think we go on a diagonal on the Madigan line. That was the first thing that actually looked like a dune. Looks like this is going to be lunch. Oh, look at this for a lunch spot. Just having lunch. Chicken pasta. And yes, the flies are out. So a couple of us have got the fly nets, which are worth uh, waiting gold or myrrh. See the flies on Scott's driver, they're pretty horrendous. But um, I think we've got about an hour to go and we're in camp, which is good. 
and um, just tootle along. little stop before camp so we've done 326 k's and we've got about another 20 to go we're slowly getting into more and more sand but it's it's still very hard underneath so everyone just has to ride their own their own ride at their own pace because there are all little dropouts and washouts everywhere catch you off guard and the other thing is if you're riding in the the wheel rot from a car like I am now your handlebars are sticking over the edge of the track so you inevitably start hitting uh, brushes which 99% of the time is fine but um, could very easily just yank the bars and you're off A bunch of guys where most of us oh, seem to be a similar speed and um, this one guy's a little bit slow we don't have to wait long for him but there's a few interesting washouts and drop-offs and corners there that um, sort of a bit like this you know you come around a corner and that's in front of you and you're doing 80 or 90 kilometers an hour it can certainly get your attention anyway we'll see if this is camp We've had our wonderful hot shower. Nice um, hot water, so you can have a shower. And Beer. So, great day. Most people were similar speed. There was no, no dramas. Feeling pretty good. We haven't really had a lot of um, um, deep sand or anything. It's just been on, on the top. So it was harder on our body, but it was pretty. It's pretty easy. So we'll see, um, we'll see how we go. Have dinner tonight, a few more beers, and then uh, off at the crack of dawn tomorrow. So yeah, this is the way to, this is the way to come and do the Simpson, Des the, the Simpson Desert, a trip like this. Cold beer and a hot shower at the end of the day. It's fantastic.